everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces and we are working on a special project today and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what to do if you have a caned headboard, this is a caned headboard, and maybe you're dreaming of having an upholstered headboard. So we're working on this for a client. Um, some of the caning was a little bit brittle and it ended up breaking. So what is the solution? Well, we're going to upholster it. So let me talk to you a little bit about how we're going to do this. So we, um, we have a couple steps here we'll show you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get some batting. So this is, how thick is this? One think? inch. One inch batting. Um, so you want to get some batting and you want to basically fit it over the panel that you're going to be working on. Um, this is obviously too small for this panel which is why we didn't, we're not gonna use this piece. Um, so you can kind of just rough fit it over it and, and you need to decide where you're actually gonna upholster it. So we decided that we're gonna go right inside this edge here. So my piping, which is gonna be the finishing step, is gonna go right along on this edge, which will kind of make it like a little bit even with this edge here. So we have our handy dandy upholstery stapler here, which is wonderful. This is a really fun tool, and this is a special stapler. It's not um, a regular staple gun, right, Elisa? It's an upholstery stapler with a nice long tip, easy to get into intricate corners. Excellent. So what Elisa did was we stuck this batting on here. We kind of tacked around a couple quick staples to hold it on, and then um, she rough cut it, like just to kind of make sure we got it here. And what's our next step, Elisa? Are we gonna cut this a little bit more fine? We're gonna trim it just so that we're under our edge. We're okay. not looking for perfection. We'll hide it with our fabric and our piping later. Okay. So I will follow down. Excellent. Just trim it down and mm -hmm. that's good enough for the top edge and we can start upholstering our fabric. Okay, on great. So we have our fabric here. Again, we kind of, we laid this out um, over the actual headboard. Um, we want, you want to make sure that your pattern, this doesn't really have a pattern to it, it just has a little bit of a, a texture. Um, but if this had an actual pattern on it, you wouldn't want it to be crooked. You would want to make sure that this is nice and straight. So we are making sure that this is, you know, going in a nice um, vertical and horizontal direction. Um, you want to make sure that you're completely covered all the way around before you make your cuts. Um, so that's what we did before we actually cut this. And now we're going to actually tack this on here. Oh, we're, we're just going to trim, trim it, it to the bit. shape. You're going a little bit above the size that you want so that you can have a little excess to fold down. Now this headboard happens to have a lot of curves. So we're going to cut a few slits to make it easier to get those curves down. We'll fold under and we'll tack it in place. And we'll continue. Okay, so when you're working on something like this, you want to make sure that you don't, you're not going to staple the whole entire way. You need to kind of bounce into all different directions. And why is that, Elisa? We want to make sure that we're not shifting our fabric. If you follow it in one direction, you'll end up with excess folds where you don't want them. 
So we want to keep our fabric straight. If there was a flower here, you'd want to center it. So I tack on all four sides to make sure we are centered, and then you continue to work your way out. Okay, excellent. And by the way, I don't know if I formally introduced Elisa here. Elisa is also famously known as the drapery lady. Um, she does custom window treatments, custom slip covers, pillows, bedding. I always say basically anything with fabric, Elisa can make it. Um, also upholstery, full, you know, reupholstery services as well. You'll find her in our Massapequa store many days. She's our Massapequa manager. Um, totally knowledgeable in all things design and fabric. So if you're too afraid to DIY something like this, then please come visit Elisa either in Huntington or Massapequa and she will get you all set up. So basically um, we're doing our loose tacking on here. I'm gonna make sure I'm kind of pulling this tight, right Elisa? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, do we want to flip this around and maybe show them kind of finishing it up? Sure. All right, so let's do that quick. Let's see. I'll come. There we go. I'm going to do this. We're a little tight. Our workshop is very, very crowded. We have tons of custom work going on here at Sweet Pieces. It's another service that we offer here, custom work, whether it's custom furniture painting, refinishing, things like that. Um, so here is one of our finished panels. Um, this does not have piping on it yet. So piping is basically, we're gonna self pipe this. So we're gonna use this same fabric um, and we're going to create piping from it. And that's just gonna get, how are we gonna do that, Elisa, hot glue? Yes. Hot glue is gonna go all the way around here with the piping. So any of this, um, you know, that's maybe I mean, this is actually pretty good, but anything that's a little bit uneven or isn't perfect, it's going to be covered by the piping, which is really fantastic. So our panel over here on this side, this one um, is almost complete. So we're just going to kind of show you finishing this up here. Um, and Lisa, tell me, you were telling me that tip before about how to point the gun. So Can when you talk you're a little bit about that? Yes. When you're pointing the gun, you're going to look at your indent right here. And we don't want to point our gun down in case we go through to the other side. So we always want to point our gun up in the direction of the curve. So I am leaning the tip of my gun right up into the edge. And that way you're going right along your nice edge there and you'll cover that with piping. Perfect. So see here, when we started, we just put like a couple little tacks. This side doesn't have any tacks yet. Um, so we're gonna get that tacked in and ready to go. So really exciting. I mean, easy peasy, right? Upholster a caned headboard, or actually I have a headboard at home that I'm gonna be doing for myself. It doesn't have any caning in it. It just has like a nice indentation. So I'm gonna put fabric on the inside of that. I will definitely be sharing that project with you. It's gonna be very, very exciting. Um, I hope you'll come visit us in either Huntington or Massapequa. We cannot wait to meet you. And if you can't visit us in Huntington or Massapequa, you live too far, then visit us online, shop 24-7 in your jammies on sweetpieces.com. We'll see you soon.